obviously people hear my accent and say, you know, flippantly, well, what part of Ireland are you from? And I'll say quite openly, I'm from northwest London, that part of Ireland, because my parents come over in the 70s, it wouldn't have been an easy place to come over. We had a wonderful upbringing in London, but it was full of Irish culture, just a natural feeling I had, I am Irish. It's, it's, not, it's not our fault that our parents had to seek work elsewhere, wherever it be. Uh, I was always brought up with, uh, with no, me, obviously my dad's family were all English and mum's family were predominantly you know, from Ireland and you know, it was, uh, it was great to be asked. Well, my dad was Irish and I remember asking him, vividly now asking him when I was a kid, well, what was that, English or Irish? And of course the answer was both and as, as I got older, not that I had ever the designs on it, but who, who could I play for? I could play for either. I, I was never any proud of them when I played for Ireland, no, and when I managed them, and it, it's had such a wonderful time. My first team that I played for was um, was an Irish community centre in um, in Chelmsley Wood called Three Seas, the Catholic Community Centre. So um, I'd played for I played for an Irish team since I was ten. I didn't really spend much time thinking about it. It was just a natural progression that I'd go on and play for Ireland. You know, I'm not going to lie and 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 say that the the bond before was was as strong as it is now because. Getting into the squad, that, that allowed me to, to get over more often, to, to see family that I've not seen in a long time, family that I've not even met. Just the whole experience was, was a positive one. My manager at the time had felt there might be some type of England recognition or some England interest, um, but I think you, you make a decision at the time and, and I think everybody's different. You know, some will want to take a little bit longer to, to make that decision. But for me, it was instant, and it was something that, that I wanted to do. I can honestly say the, the English-born players that I played with, and, and you're right, there was a few. We never once felt, felt in English or never felt we'd made a mistake. We always felt that we wanted to play for Ireland. We, we felt Irish when we come over. Um, we felt at home. We felt we were, we were doing the right thing. And we always give 120%. Obviously, you don't look at every one situation and work out who the, the, the connection is or whatever, you, whatever. But of those guys, not, not at one point did I ever think that these guys weren't pulling in the right direction. They've been wonderful servants to Ireland, whoever the ones people name. I think definitely you have to, there's definitely um, a barrier that you have to break down um, in, uh, in that you, you probably have to prove yourself a little bit more when you're born in England and, and you choose Ireland. There's people within media and uh, and now on the social network, they, they'll try and make a joke, joke or mockery of it. But it's not. It's not, you know, it's within you. It's, uh, I love Liverpool as my city. I love Ireland as my country. I've got to be honest, that that's probably come as a more, a more recent term, you know, the plastic paddy. You know, because I, I can honestly say I never, I never once heard it from any of the players, any of the fans. And, I, and a lot of that probably comes down to the fact we were successful. You know, when you're qualifying for tournaments, going to the World Cup in 94 and being successful, beating Italy, you know, success brings a, a familiarity and, and brings an acceptance, probably. I think there's always that, that uh, real massive uh, appreciation that you, you have somebody that was born in England that possibly had a choice of either waiting or to represent England that, that had chose to play, to play for Ireland. And, uh, and I think that's something that's always been shown from the Irish support. I don't know if you're going to ask me about it, but Jack Grealish is obviously the talk of the town at the minute about playing for Ireland and playing for England. If he doesn't feel he wants to play for Ireland because he feels he's English, then we play for England, you know, because, because when it's all over, you look back, you don't want any regrets. You know, I thought about playing for England because I was asked. As soon as I was asked to play for Ireland, I wanted to play for Ireland. You know, I felt I wanted to do that. And I always remember Ronnie Whelan saying to me, it'll be the best thing you ever did. And I've got to be honest, I've got to thank him for that because it was the best 12 years of my life. Jack and, and younger players coming through as well, it's, it's, I think it's almost got to come from the heart and, and how they feel inside, the support of their family. I mean, there's a lot of talk and it's synonymous with Ireland in terms of say, people saying, if you don't, you're not good enough to play for England, you'll play for Ireland. That's a nonsense for me. You have to pay for the country that you believe you're from. I mean, when I think about walking out at the World Cup before the game even, just walking out on the pitch an hour or two before and looking around at the crowd, the emotion that it brings up. And that's what you have to protect. You have to get those guys who are, it meant everything for them to play for their country, their country. And that is the key point. It has to be their country.